Greetings YouTube. So let's create a hypothetical situation. Say you're walking along an abandoned railroad track and lose track of time. Night is falling and it's getting cold and you desperately want a fire. However, you left your matches, your lighter, your 9 volt battery and still wool at home. All you have is some aluminum foil you packed a sandwich in for lunch and a couple of rusty old railroad spikes you found on the ground. So should you start rubbing some sticks together? Well, since you're a chemist, you know the answer is no. You can actually make fire with what you have. So here's what you need to do. Take the aluminum foil and divide it into two pieces. Set one of the two pieces aside and grab one of your rusty spikes. The rustier the spike or the rustier the piece of metal, the better. Okay, now wrap the aluminum foil around it. Try to keep it so that there's just one layer of foil. If you have multiple layers, this may not work. I'm using railroad spikes for this project just because that's what I had lying around from a knife making project I had. However, you can use any piece of iron, but it needs to be very rusty for this to work. Okay, so we're doing the next one. Make sure to tear off any excess. And then try to squeeze it on as tightly as possible. Alright, so now we're ready to test them out. Now to get your fire starter to work, all you need to do is strike the two pieces of metal together using glancing blows. Just hitting them together will not work. They have to be glancing blows. Okay, so what's happening here? What is the chemistry? Well, believe it or not, this is actually a thermite reaction on a very small scale. The sparks are produced as a result of the reaction between the iron 3 oxide and the aluminum foil. Striking the two spikes together produces sufficient frictional energy to initiate the reaction. The products, aluminum oxide, iron, and heat, are what we observe as sparks. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you try this one out. In the meantime, please rate, comment, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe.